Hi, my name is Marvin Barish. I'm the author of USS Cyclops, USS Cyclops Volume 2, and Murder on the Aberenda. My great uncle Lawrence Merkel was one of the 309 men lost with the USS Cyclops. At one time, the Cyclops was the largest and fastest ship in the United States Navy. She was one of the unsung heroes of the fleet, coaling and fueling the ships night and day. Offshore, or with a convoy on the go, the ship and her men never failed to carry out their mission. She faithfully served our country from 1910 to 1918. The last time that the massive U.S. Navy fuel ship was seen was 105 years ago on March 4, 1918. For more than a quarter of a century, I researched the ship, her crew, passengers, operations, everything about the USS Cyclops. Despite having written three books on the subject, I've not stopped my research. I've had the opportunity to talk about the Cyclops in lectures, on documentaries for National Geographic, the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, and in programs for international audiences. I've also served as a consultant for a BBC documentary series that included the USS Cyclops. I had several goals in mind when I began this project in January 1997. My priorities were and are to first accurately document the history of the USS Cyclops from her conception, through construction, her operations for the Navy Department, and to examine all aspects concerning her loss. I've been very fortunate to have a great publisher for the three books. Mr. Craig Scott and his publishing house, Heritage Books, have been very supportive, bringing my decades of research to print. Next, account for everyone who served on the ship. If available, include their photograph, service history, and personal information in the books. Aside from my research of the men, I've had the help of many of their descendants and relatives who provided documentation and photographs. Also, investigate the disappearance of the USS Cyclops in 1918. Encourage exploration to locate the remains of the ship. An unexpected side benefit presented itself during my research into the prehistory of the USS Cyclops. I wrote about the tragic events that occurred on the Collier Aberenda in 1908 as its first officer was brutally murdered. The captain of the Aberenda was George W. Worley, the man who would become the only commanding officer of the Collier Cyclops. That research may have narrowed the search area. Captain Worley's final cruise on the Collier Aberenda in 1908 began at Brazil. He brought the Aberenda past Barbados and docked the ship at San Juan, Puerto Rico. On the Cyclops, it appeared that Captain Worley was a creature of habit. He typically brought his ship across the same course each time. Not since 1908 had Captain Worley traveled to Brazil. Captain Worley's final cruise on the USS Cyclops commenced at Brazil, a layover at Barbados. Then the ship headed toward her destination, Baltimore, Maryland. She never arrived. I surmise that Captain Worley had the Cyclops steam through the waters that he knew quite well. I believe that the course that the Collier Cyclops traveled in 1918 on her final cruise was over the same waters that he brought the Aberenda through in 1908. It is quite possible that the 1908 cruise data will actually narrow the search area in exploration for where the Cyclops came to rest in March of 1918. I believe that the USS Cyclops went down in the Puerto Rico Trench. This is likely the reason why the ship has eluded discovery, as the trench at its deepest depth is five miles. The cruise data from the Collier Aberenda 
is in USS Cyclops Volume 2. Included is all of the ship's navigational data, land sightings, time marks, and more. It is my hope that this data will come to good use and may lead to the discovery of the wreckage, an appropriate study to ascertain the cause of her loss, all the while respecting the fact that it's a grave site for the 309 souls who perished with the great ship. Unfortunately, information about the Collier's Cyclops and Aberenda is not taught in the classroom but their histories are readily available through my three books, which may be purchased from Heritage Books Incorporated. I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to briefly acquaint you with the USS Cyclops on the 105th anniversary of her loss.